Hey guys, Buffy the Nanny here coming to you with another Superman Movie Masters figure review. This time we're looking at the black suited Superman by Movie Masters Mattel, by the company Mattel. As you can tell, I already opened up the packaging, so it's essentially the same as the other one. So just, you know, you can go back to my other reviews and see the packaging on that. It's the same thing, it just says Superman with the black suits, same bio, same information, same, you know, packaging and everything. This is the cool part though, it's black suited Superman. So let's take this off. Just put that in the background there to remind you what review you're looking at. Let's take a look at the black suit Superman. First of all, as all of them, he comes with a base. Very cool base. Essentially the same as the Superman one, but this one is in gray and black. So the you know inner out inner linings right here are black, and the outside part is gray. It's a very nice material. It's super cool that they always include a base. I love bases. Now let's take a look at the figure. This guy is awesome. If only the, f you know, you can ch swap the faces of with this one and the other Superman so that he, the other Superman could have heat vision and this Superman can just be like regular looking Superman. I like the, the chest though, the, like, the detail right there on the chest. It's very nice. There's no paint drips or paint chips or anything on mine except for on the foot right here. It has some orange, but that's fine. I can just get some black paint and go over that real quick. Um, essentially the same as the Superman Movie Masters figure, just painted in black and silver this, silver that. Just, you know, painted in, painted in the eyes red. So, very nice. Let's look at the cape, it's still nice texturing. Still nice little rubber material. You know, it's very bendable, you can play around with it if you'd like. It's nice, it's nice, it's very nice. Same articulation as the other Superman figure. Uh, why does it keep on focusing? Arms can go in and out, forward and back, cut here in the bicep, one point here in the elbow. Wrist rotates around 360, although this one looks like it's a little loose, I'm not sure. Um, body rotates around 360 as well, no ab crunch yet. Uh, it has the standard DCUC, you know, ab, uh, crutchless pits right there. Legs can go forward and back, in and out, because they have a T-joint. Cut right here in the mid thigh. You got one point here in the knee, and you got ankle articulation goes forward and back. And yeah, it's pretty much it. Well, a little paint. So yeah, a little comparison though, just to show you how similar this guy is compared to the regular Superman. There we go. Same figure, I think. Yep, pretty sure it's the same figure. Just you know, different paint and colored in the eyes red for like heat vision or something pretty much same size too same size um hand might be a little more twisted inward i mean this this hand looks like it's twisted more inward than this hand yeah yeah the hand looks like it's a little bit more twisted inward but that's because it's kind of like coming out of its ball socket but yeah, doesn't matter. Same figure. If you like the black suit version, you should definitely buy it. If not, then don't waste your 16 bucks on this figure. But um, I definitely have to get it because I'm a big uh, completionist. So <laughs> I had to have it to complete the, my little Movie Master sets. I am still missing the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Zod vs. Superman. That one's going to be awesome if I ever do find it. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like this video, if you enjoyed it. I mean, it was a short review, but what, what can I say? It's just a repaint. It's a beautiful repaint. It's very nice. I, I like the black suit version, but it's just a repaint. And don't, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.